Hey, what's up guys? This is Mega Billy Bob here. And in this video, I just wanted to make a little follow-up to my uh, Blizzard vs. Jagex video. And just to correct some people who were uh, commenting on that video, the first thing I said before I really even opened my mouth was, in my opinion, dot dot dot. And for some reason, people are either illiterate or don't know what the words in my opinion means but they were basically calling me out saying that I don't know shit about World of Warcraft and I have everything all wrong and blah 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 and I never from the start I said I played WoW on and off for six months and I didn't even get a character past level uh, 40 so I don't really know how anyone can expect me to know everything about the fucking game but I guess some people are just like that I guess but um in the video I basically let you guys know which game I thought had better gameplay and stuff like that so in this video I'm gonna talk about the WoW fanboys and how basically both sides of the community act towards you know the other game so, I'm going to start off by saying that I'm a long-time RuneScape player, but I personally am not really a fan of the way Jagex updates their game. I mean, honestly, this game would be a much better game if they had just kept it the way it was, as the way it was four years ago. And that's just my opinion, but the people starting to play now... Um, they'd probably be pretty pissed to find that there is no grand exchange and they have to go on the forums for everything. And, you know, stuff like that. Because now, World 2, there really is no World 2 anymore. I mean, yeah, World 2 is still usually full 90% of the time, but any time anybody wants to sell anything... They usually just take it to the Grand Exchange, and before what you would have to do is go on the forums, and yeah. But enough about that, on to the video. Um, I'm going to start off with RuneScape. On RuneScape, if you've ever watched a uh, WoW vs. RuneScape video for someone who plays RuneScape, normally they do basically what I did. The first thing they say before they even start talking about it is in my opinion dot 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 and then they'll give your their opinion on both but people who play WoW and are so biased and so scared that a browser game is better than their game that they have to pay out the ass to just play it can beat their game and they'll sit there and they'll defend it and they'll shut down RuneScape and any other game that even comes close to touching it for ever. And that's just the way people are. I mean, I've met some really cool people playing World of Warcraft. At the time that I did play it, I did meet some really cool people. But at the same time, people play the game and they treat it as if it's a fucking it's not even like a game. People treat it as if it's their life. And for most, a lot of people, it actually is. I mean, all all some people do is sit in their house and play World of Warcraft. Obviously, what you see on, like, movies and stuff like that, and you hear on the news, is exaggerated. You know, obviously, there's no one on this planet that literally never goes outside unless they're trying to beat, like, a world record or some shit. And the same thing with RuneScape. You hear a lot about people either dying from sleep deprivation from playing RuneScape or people dying from not eating or whatever it may be. But you hear a lot more of it with World of Warcraft, so... I mean, naturally, with that being said, it's obviously the more popular, more addicting, more time-consuming game if people are actually dying from playing it. And, um, 
you know, people, a lot of people that play World of Warcraft have never spoken the words, in my opinion, their entire lives, and they're pretty biased on what game that they love, and it doesn't, you know, if you play WoW, good for you. I really don't care. I could give half a shit less what game you play. Just don't put my game down, um, because 90% of the people who play WoW, well, I wouldn't say 90%, but... I'd say a good, probably 75% of the people who play WoW have never played RuneScape long enough to really get the hang of it. And, you know, everyone's entitled to their own opinion, I understand that. At, at the same time, you really shouldn't go around saying that one game sucks when you've never really experienced it to the full limit. Before World of Warcraft was even out, I think World of Warcraft came out in like maybe 2005. Before that, RuneScape was the main game that people played, I think. At least that's all I ever heard people talking about, and also that and Diablo. Diablo was Blizzard's main game at the time. Maybe, yeah, yeah, Diablo. Star Starcraft was coming in in a close second, and RuneScape was just kind of there. I mean, RuneScape was the only, in my opinion, it's the only good browser-based MMORPG out there. And, you know, the, nu the number of members can account for that. But, um, people who play WoW and have never played RuneScape... I guarantee at least half the people who are saying that RuneScape is like the worst game ever, if they were to get a hold of an account that was had a decent level, had a decent amount of cash for just one day, a lot of them would change their opinions on RuneScape. And for the sole reason being that you can do things in RuneScape other than combat. and if you've never played World of Warcraft before, here's here's my quick little one minute explanation of what you do in WoW. Okay, this is what you do in World of Warcraft. From level one, you're basically on lockdown in an area that, you know, the normal spawn point for whichever race you pick. And you're basically leveling there from around level one to ten. And then you move on to the next area, you know, usually you have to look up a guide or someone knows where to train and blah blah blah, and then you do all the quests in the next area, do all the, you know, whatever, and then by that time you'll be level 20, and that's basically all you do other than doing, you know, every now and then a lower level dungeon or whatever, all the way up to the max level. That's all you do. And then once you get the max level, that this is where the glamour starts in WoW. This is where people seem to think that WoW is the greatest game ever, because once you get the highest level, the only thing that you can really do is either make a new account and start all the way back from the beginning doing the same shit, except for you're just a different class, so you're just doing a different type of combat. Or you keep playing on your max level character, keep doing the same dungeons 10 to 20 to up to fucking like 30 to 40 times each to get the piece of armor you want. And then usually once someone is fully geared, then the only thing really left to do is to either power level people, which, you know, there's one particular... Uh, really famous World of Warcraft video maker, and if you play WoW and watch WoW videos, I'm sure you know who WoW Hobbs is. He's basically famous on YouTube for power leveling people, and what power leveling is, is you take some average to low level players, and you run them through an average to high level dungeon, and when you're in a party, you get experience. I mean, obviously, depending on how many people are in there, say, if you're just power leveling one person, that one person will level probably once per dungeon. 
but if you have like say three or four people it may take like you know two or 